It's gone a little unnoticed at this point, but there are several tremendous PlayStation 4 physical game deals available right now. Some of the best prices I've seen on some of the most recent games, Kingdom Hearts 3 at a new low, The Division 2 at a new low, and several other games are heavily discounted as well. Want to go over 10 insane physical PlayStation 4 game deals available right now? Let's cut the chatter and get right into this. And as I mentioned at the top, Kingdom Hearts 3 is seeing its lowest price ever, and we'll get started there. Over on Amazon, it is down to, yes, a $19.99, which to me is absolutely absurd. It is not even six months since this game has been released, and it is down to a third of its initial cost. Now, there is some DLC coming out for the game, so maybe they're trying to sell you on the game at a little bit cheaper of the price, try to get you hooked on it, and then buy the DLC as well. Whatever the case may be, this is a great price for Kingdom Hearts 3, a game that while I didn't think was perfect, I did think it was one of Square Enix's better games in recent memory. The story is a little muddied, but I still think it's relatively engaging, and the gameplay in Kingdom Hearts 3 is so good. It's that fast-paced, stylish, action-oriented gameplay that you know and love Kingdom Hearts 4. And it's got that in spades. The visuals are stunning and now down to just $19.99. It's easy to give this one a recommendation. But as I've always mentioned, if you're getting into Kingdom Hearts 3 blind, I really wouldn't recommend that even with that recap video that they have in the game. I would highly recommend you to pick up Kingdom Hearts The Story so far, which is down to $29.99 over on Amazon. That includes 1.5, 2.5, as well as 2.8. You essentially get every Kingdom Hearts game to set you up for Kingdom Hearts 3. And yes, some of those games are a little bit dated, but you can still go back and play them and still have a relatively good time. I think jumping into Kingdom Hearts 3 just because Kingdom Hearts is so story-driven, it's gonna be a little bit jarring if you don't have the fundamental knowledge of where Kingdom Hearts is coming from, so I would recommend you to play through the story so far and everything that collection offers. But nonetheless, Kingdom Hearts 3 for $20 is a fantastic deal. Next up, also $20 is Tom Clancy's The Division 2 over on Amazon. What a ridiculous deal for this. We talked about Kingdom Hearts 3 being not even six months old. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 isn't even four months old, and yes, it is already down to $20. That's why I was talking about going into the release of The Division 2. Man, if you wait a little while for these Ubisoft games, we see it with literally every Ubisoft game. They get so cheap so quickly, and we see that with The Division 2 here once again. It is down to $20. Not an indictment on the quality level of the game, because I've said that The Division 2 is arguably one of the best games of the year. Hell, I don't even have to say arguably. It is one of the best games of the year and maybe the best multiplayer game of this year so far. Ubisoft has done a great job with it, and just like every other multiplayer game that Ubisoft puts out, it has just been getting better and better since its launch, and it looks like they have a bevy of more content coming to the game in the next year or so. Now that you can get into it for just $20, an absolutely absurd deal. Check it out on Amazon. Can't recommend that enough, and best if you do play that game with a couple of friends. Next up, also a Ubisoft title, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is down to $20. Assassin's Creed Odyssey was a great game that I did have my issues with. Wasn't a big fan of how grindy the game was and how much extra content you did have to do to level up and progress through the main story. I wish that these games offered you a way to just play the main story through and then you can dabble in the side content in your own pace. But in the case with AC Odyssey, you really have to do a sizable amount of the side content to just progress through the main story, which I don't like that in games. And they even have an XP boost that you can buy as a microtransaction for $10. So Ubisoft is fully aware of the fact that yes, yeah, some people would like to to just play through this story and not dabble in too much of the side content. That's why they offer you the double XP boost. And if you get the double XP boost, yes, that will make it. So if you just progress mission to mission, you can play through the game, no problem. But nonetheless, if you do want an expansive open world to get into with a ton of content, so much to do, AC Odyssey definitely has that, and for $20, I would say it's a great buy. Next up, we have Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice for $20. Hellblade is a game that I thought was very good. It was released all the way back in 2017, so it hasn't seen a steep discount since its original release. It's kind of held up at that original price point. However, it was a self-published title by Ninja Theory, and what a great game this was. And this is the last Ninja Theory title that we'll be getting on the PlayStation 4, as they have been acquired by Microsoft, so that's a little bit of a bummer. But nonetheless, Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice was a great great way to go out for Ninja Theory on the PlayStation 4, at least for the time being. It was a very atmospheric game, a very psychological game, so if you want a game that's gonna warp you a little mentally, Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice definitely offers that. The visuals are stunning, it looks even better on the PS4 Pro, and it's an experience I think the majority of gamers should have. It's relatively short, but considering it's only $20, I don't think that should be too big of an issue. That is available on Amazon right now. 
Next up, now this isn't a steep discount at all, but the Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel Decisive Edition is 10% off. That's $5 off from $50 to $45. Now, the issue with this game is it's actually been a little bit hard to find, especially the Decisive Edition, which includes the Steel Book, and you've got a soundtrack CD in there, but now it's in stock on Amazon. It's 10% off. You're getting it for $45, and of course, this is a game that I've gone to bat for so many times. It is a tremendous JRPG series of games. It's a four-part series, and this is the first of four parts. The second Second game just released about a month ago. The third game will be out later this year, and hopefully the fourth game is out sometime in 2020. Now, visually, they're nothing to write home about, given that they were designed for the PlayStation Vita. But these games, from a storytelling standpoint, from a character development standpoint, are some of the best JRPGs, some of the best games that you are going to come across. The way the story is told is top-notch. The first game is a little bit slow, given that they're introducing you to all of the characters, all of their backgrounds, but it really picks up towards the latter portion of the game, and things get really rolling in the second game, but Trails of Cold Steel 1, definitely worth a playthrough, and this is another game that you really want to play these games game by game. Yes, Trails of Cold Steel 2, while I would say that's the better game in terms of a story, the gameplay is largely similar, and it does have a recap video. You're only going to get so much out of a recap video that's 7 to 10 minutes long, out of what you're going to get playing a 70-hour JRPG, so check out Trails of Cold Steel 1, $45, still expensive, but I wanted to give that a mention, especially with how big of a fan I am of it. Okay, next up, we've got Dark Souls Remastered for $20. It's Dark Souls 1 Remastered for the PlayStation 4. Dark Souls 1 is considered by many to be the best game in the series. I don't know if I would agree with that in terms of just the Souls game. I would probably go with Dark Souls 3 over this, but nonetheless, it is a great game. And that initial price point of $40 was a little bit off-putting, just given the fact that this game originally came out, what, back in 2010? Would have liked to see it come out at $20 from the get-go, but uh, hey, you guys know how I am. I'm cheap as hell, but $20 for it now is a great buy. And you've got that great Dark Souls gameplay here. I'm sure the majority of you guys have already played Dark Souls 1 at some point, but maybe you're a younger gamer and your first foray into Souls was Dark Souls 3, or maybe you played Bloodborne, whatever the case may be, and now you want to go back and check out DS1 for $20. The remastered version is a great buy. Next up, we also have Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition, which is down to $30 on Amazon. Now, I talked about Dark Souls 1 being, what, an 8-year-old game, but being released at $40. Tales of Vesperia was like a 10-year-old game, and it was released at $50. So yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the price point of this one either, but Tales of Vesperia is one of those games that I am incredibly part towards I thought Tales of Vesperia was a phenomenal JRPG and just like the majority of Tales of games it follows largely a similar style the strength of Vesperia really comes from its characters and story and while I won't say the story is anything revolutionary it's a pretty good save the world JRPG story but the strength of Vesperia really comes in from the characters the characters are phenomenal with one of the most engaging main characters ever in Yuri really just a far cry from your typical zero to hero JRPG main character that's kind of what you see in the Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel but nonetheless, Vesperia is a great game, and of course, we are coming up on the release of Tales of Arise. That'll be dropping in 2020, and that's going to shake up the Tales of franchise completely, but if you want that classic experience, Vesperia is going to offer you that, and it's down to $30 on Amazon. Next up, I do want to mention a couple of deals as a part of GameStop's summer sale right now. Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, which is only available at GameStop, the physical copy, that is. You can buy a digital copy through the PlayStation Store. It is down to $15, which is a great buy for this one. Now, this, when it was released, it was released at $30, which again, a little bit off-putting, given that it was just a simple remaster, and we had things like the Handsome Collection, which included Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel, and that was going for like $15, but Borderlands 1 remaster was going for $30, it was just weird. But now Borderlands 1 Game of the Year Edition is down to $15. It's Borderlands 1. It released all the way back in 2009. It has some dated elements, but this remastered version does upgrade a lot of the gameplay mechanics as well. Some quality of life improvements were made, such as to the map, so that makes it a better experience. And now that it's down to $15, easy to give this one a recommendation, given that it's at the price that it probably should have been from the get-go. Next up, we have My Hero 1's Justice. This is a game that you'll want to pick up if you are a fan of My Hero Academia. If you are not a fan of My Hero Academia, do not pick up this game. It's down to $20, which I think is a great buy given that it just came out back in October. But there are some issues with the game. Given that it's the first My Hero title, I can let some of those issues go. The story mode isn't all too great. It just kind of throws you in the midst of the story, and that's why I say you kind of need to know the background if you're going to play this game. It's a very flashy game, very stylish. Unfortunately, it does lack a little bit of substance. I think there's a foundation in place for there to be sequels and follow-up games. Hopefully, it can develop into something of higher quality. 
But if you are a fan of My Hero, if you have a couple of friends into the anime, there is fun to be had with this, especially with the couch multiplayer. And while I wouldn't say it would have been worth $59.99, at just $19.99, definitely a game worth checking out. And lastly, Best Buy does have Devil May Cry 5 discounted to $40. It's Devil May Cry 5. I've recommended this game so many times. It's a very good action game. A little bit light on the content, given that you can complete it in around 12 to 15 hours. But all of that content has an immense amount of quality attached to it. It's super stylish. The story's a little bit zany, but you know what you're getting into with Devil May Cry. It's down to $40. We've been seeing it at this price point a little bit more regularly, but it's still definitely worth it, so I wanted to give that a shout as well. And that's gonna conclude this video. Again, so many great PS4 game deals available right now, kind of out of nowhere. KH3 and Division 2 being down to $20 is insane. AC Odyssey has been available for $20 a couple of times, but very rarely, and that being down to that price, that's great as well. Hellblade for $20 bucks is good. And though Trails of Cold Steel for $45, some of you might not even classify that as a deal, but it is 10% off, was rarely going on sale, and it was going out of stock as well. And this is the decisive edition with the Steelbook, so I wanted to give that a shout. DS1 for $20, bucks. ain't bad. Tales of Vesperia for $30. Borderlands one game of the year edition for 15 is really good. My Hero One's Justice for 20 isn't bad, and DMC5 for 40 is a good buy as well. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.